These are a waste of bullets. Bounty to those in need. of Crystallis. Isa, are you all right? You're terrible. Huh? Terrible? What are you talking about? I don't feel scared of the court anymore. <sighs> but that's obviously a lie, Clor. Shh. Let's be quiet about it. Let's be quiet about it. Or else. Huh? But I told you I'm not scared. Director, you are treating me like a child. But I am not who I used to be anymore. Now, if you ever treat me like a child again... <clears throat> I hate the idea of interrupting you all. 
But a bunch of Dream Eaters are coming this way as we speak. Which is great. I'm feeling bothered by some unpleasant memories, and I could really use some nice sandbags now. even warmed up yet. Excuse me? You weren't even the one taking charge. <laughs> hey, are you, are you taking, taking her side? side? Come on. This really is no time for you to compete for director's love. Heard that, Yuffie? We came here to... Wait. Did you just say director's love? Um. Yes, I did. Because we've got something much more important to deal with right now. So, Isa, care to bring us up to speed on what's going on here? Fine. I suppose it wouldn't hurt for me to tell you a little bit about my past. Asa and I were born and raised in an orphanage called Starguard Forest in the outskirts of Rolana. People there are as naive as you are. Hey, I wouldn't describe ourselves as being naive. Well, that's exactly how I would describe you all, though. Hmm. But anyhow, that's Starguard Forest for you. There was Asa, the old maidservant, and a bunch of abandoned children. Life was great, until the Crystallis brought us to the court, and told us that they were going to put us through some trial of the crystal. The mayor determined us and me to be castaways and was going to put us behind bars, but his wife pitied us and asked him to spare us. So we ended up being exiled from the city. Doesn't seem so terrible of a punishment, huh? But that's when things started going south. What happened after that? We never heard about it from you and Asa. Don't push it, though, if those memories bother you so much. The mayor seems suspicious with a capital S, based on what we know already. What else do you remember about him, Isa? Nothing else, really. All I remember is that when we were kicked out of the city, Rini secretly gave us clothes and food, and we all felt very grateful for that. But then... Greedy mayor, kind-hearted mayoress, and despicable crystallis. I think we're getting close to the core of this fantasy land. Got the good. <laughs> wait, wait. Let me take a selfie.
please be the bounty to those in need. those in need. Fancy seeing you all here. What in the world? Wait, I clearly remember beating these scumbags before, Director. I remember that too. We beat her to a pulp at the amusement park for grown-ups. This is weird. A dream eater's soul usually goes back to the real world when they lose a fight. I've never seen any that respawn. Wait, does that mean that Fantasyland itself is... <laughs> no way I'm going down before I see the mayor's wishes come true. Money. 
power, and human lives are nothing but bargaining chips he uses to satisfy his greed. I knew it. This fantasy land is built upon lives, which is why these dream eaters can just keep respawning. Uh, you bunch of... <laughs> She's absolutely right. You'll never guess just whose lives the mayor has sacrificed to build this fantasy land. Let's see... Ah, right. The castaways from some orphanage. <gasps> I knew it. I knew you were the ones behind it. confused with someone else. Um, Isa? Can I give you a hug too? Count me in. I've never seen Isa so cute. <laughs> Count me in too. I don't need any of... Wait! Stay where you are! Never mind. I'll be the grown-up that I am and let you all go. I really don't miss this feeling. Well, Isa... Wait! I know what you were about to say. You are not to blame for the tragedy that happened at Stargard Forest. That scene might have scared you soulless even if you had made it there in time anyway. And I mean, I am the one who... you just say? Oh my. But that sounds exactly like what you'd say, Director. Director is right. We are your family, Isa. Yes, we are. We already have Ruko as a well-behaved young sister. And we wouldn't mind having a sister as sassy as... Yeah, I know I am sassy. And I also know for a fact that I fight much better than you do. Excuse me? I suppose I'll take you up on that, Director. But remember to get on a knee next time if you ever want to do something like this again. Please, leave the bounty to those in need. 